Well, hello, Miss Jane at the North Castle Public Library, and today's Science Lab is going to focus on beans and seeds. And we're gonna read about um, how beans and seeds grow, which is something we will often do in the springtime. But today, we're just gonna focus on the beautiful diversity that Mother Nature provides us and the lovely variety of all the different types of beans and seeds out there. And then we're gonna make a beautiful bean and seed mosaic. Okay, so I'm gonna read our story first, entitled One Bean, One Bean by Ann Rockwell, pictures by Megan Halsey, and published by Walker and Company. Okay, I had one bean. It was dry and smooth and hard. I put it on a wet paper towel. I covered it with another wet paper towel. Soon its skin had turned all wrinkly. My bean had gotten fatter too. I think it got too fat for its skin because the skin split. This meant it was time to plant my bean. I filled a paper cup with black potting soil. Then I laid my fat wrinkly bean in the cup and covered it with soil. I watered it when the soil was dry. Even though I couldn't see my bean hidden under the damp black soil, I watched for it every day. Then one day, just like in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, something wonderful happened. A greenish white stalk poked up from the soil. My bean was dangling from the end of it. Ooh. Soon, two leaves grew on my bean plant. These were shaped like Valentine hearts. Oh yeah. More green heart-shaped leaves sprouted. My bean plant grew bigger and bigger. It needed a bigger place to live and grow. Wow. I filled the flower pot with potting soil. Very gently, very carefully, I took my one bean with its bright green leaves and roots spreading through black moist soil out of the paper cup. I planted it in the flower pot where it could stay. Sunshine shone on it and made my bean plant grow some more. One day, I saw lots of little green bumps on my bean plant. Those little green bumps were buds. The buds burst open and lots of white flowers blossomed among the green, green leaves. Hmm. When the white flowers fell off, tiny, tiny bean pods hung in their place. Before long, there were lots of bean pods growing on my beautiful bean plant. Wow. Those tiny bean pods grew bigger. One day, I picked one. I split it open and looked inside. What do you think I saw? I saw some smooth and shiny beans shaped just like the one bean that had started it all. Wow. I picked a few pods and ate the beans that grew inside them. And they were very, very good. Hmm. Okay, well there's the story of beans and how they grow and taste good. And now we'll get to our project where we celebrate the beauty and wonder of all these wonderful beans and seeds. So what you are going to do and you're gonna have is um, a variety of beans and seeds. Here I have um, some, I think these are pumpkin seeds, some pinto beans, red kidney beans, I don't even remember what these are called, but look at them. Aren't they beautiful? They're smooth and shiny and big and white. I love them. And some black beans, and they truly are black. And some green peas and some sort of brownish grayish lentils, which are very tiny and very round. So we have quite a variety of colors and shapes and sizes here. And that's really just the beginning when it comes to beans and seeds. 
And just think of all the wonderful food that could be grown from these many beans here. So with your cardboard, with your flower outline, you are going to take Elmer's glue and spend a moment or two just thinking, what design do you want to make? Because this is really the fun of it. This is the design I've chosen, but you could, you could choose something different. And when you've thought about it, you're going to spread a good amount of Elmer's glue within the outline of the flower. I, was, I worked petal by petal. And then you're gonna place your beans there. like this and maybe pat them spread them a little again this is the design I chose but you might have something else in mind and you're gonna give it a good 24 hours overnight to dry and then look at the beautiful bean and seed mosaic you've got